Welcome to another one of our HubSpot tutorials. This is CJ with The Gist. We're an inbound marketing and growth agency and certified HubSpot solutions partner based in Buffalo, New York. Let's dive in. This is part of our series on HubSpot onboarding and support. And this video is going to show you how to create active lists in HubSpot. Now, um, if you have a CRM and has a lot of contacts, um, it's almost never um, useful to look at all of your contacts in one snapshot. Usually, if you want to go in and reference your contacts, look at them, analyze them, or take action on them, um, you're, you're usually looking at a specific subset of those contacts. And in a separate video, we've showed you how if you go into your contacts, you can easily search for them, create save filters, and from those filters, um, uh, immediately move to actions like creating tasks, enrolling in sequences, or things like that, right? Um, go to all views, here are some saved features. If I wanna know everybody who's with the company Dunder Mifflin, I have that saved filter. But um, this contact filtering tool is different than lists. Lists are kind of like a more formalized segmentation of your contact base, and they can be used um, to uh, used in smart content, right? So you can display um, different content on your website differently based on list membership. And they can also be used to um, send emails to and trigger um, the enrollment of a workflow. So there's a lot that you can do in lists. And there's really two types of lists. There are static lists and active lists. A static list is something that never changes. So let's say I want to capture uh, anybody who works for Dunder Mifflin right now, I will create a list, um, contact based, and I'm going to do a static list and I'll say uh, contact property, company name, um, contains any of Dunder Mifflin, and then I'll apply that filter and it'll take a minute to process, but you know, here, here's all the contacts at Dunder Mifflin, everyone from Kelly and Meredith uh, to David and Phyllis and Gabe and Daryl. So what I will, if I'm creating a static list, this is never going to change. So I'm gonna say um, Dunder Mifflin contacts, and I'll say, I'll give it the date, right? 9-02-2020, and then I hit save. Right, so that's a static list. An active list is one that constantly updates based on the rules that you apply to the list. So um, an example of an active list could be um, anybody who works at Dunder Mifflin who opened an email within the last month, or anybody who works at Dunder Mifflin who also um, uh, opened an email, uh, or rather uh, visited our website within the last week. Um, so active lists can be really useful um, for pinpointing um, low-hanging fruit or contacts who meet a very specific ripe criteria. So um, I'll show you an example of an active list. Um, I have active list here. I'll say contact property, um, product uh, or service interest is any of lead generation. So whether um, we somebody on our team has manually indicated that this person is, um, is interested in lead generation or, um, or they've taken an action on our website or an email that indicates, you know, there's ways that we can update that property to say, yep, they're interested in lead generation. Um, how to do that is a topic for a different video, but just know that that is um, very easily um, configured inside HubSpot. So let's say that they, um, their, their product interest is any of lead generation and their current CRM is any of Salesforce. So we wanna know people um, who, I mean, maybe we want to save this list because we want to know anybody who's interested in lead generation um, who is using Salesforce, maybe we want to run a campaign um, to show them some best practices on how to leverage the Salesforce CRM to generate more leads for their business. So if I create this active list, um, anytime uh, a contact meets this criteria, they'll show up on this list, right? So I'll say um, Salesforce users interested in lead, lead generation save. Now, what's nice is I can do a lot of things with this list. I can go back to contact filters and create a save filter for anybody who belongs to this list. Um, I could say anytime somebody um, is, uh, it becomes a member of this list, we can send them an email. Let's say create workflow, contact based, and say the enrollment trigger is list membership, 
Salesforce users, lead generation. So now anytime they meet the criteria and belong to that list, we can you know, send them an email, create a task for ourselves, a notification. Um, we can add them to a different list and really perform a variety of actions. Also now, if we're gonna send an email, um, we could use this list to send emails to, right? So if I'm gonna create an email, I'm gonna create a regular email here. I'm gonna use a, a simple email and forget about you know, how we style the email. That's uh, a, a topic for a different video that we've also already produced. Um, if I wanna to go to sender schedule, I'll pick my lists, Salesforce users interested in lead generation. So maybe you have a, a monthly or a quarterly or, or, or some type of, of campaign that happens at a certain frequency where you constantly wanna reference people who certain, meet a certain uh, criteria active lists is how to get it done. And I hope you can see that you can create a, a number of active lists based on um, a variety of criteria that really can help you pinpoint um, priority contacts and set them up for effective marketing actions from workflows to emails and a whole bunch of other things. So that's active lists. It's very easy to do and very effective for any marketing and sales effort. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you want to dive deeper into this topic, suggest we do a new tutorial on a new topic, or if you want to learn more about our HubSpot onboarding and support services, head on over to thegistcontent.com/hubspot. Thanks for watching.